Hi, I'm Brother Prater. Welcome to my page. When it gives some food for thought, if body fluid or DNA can stain our mattress, bed sheet, or clothing, imagine what kind of stain it will leave on our spirit. Think about it. You know, sex is more than just a physical act. It's a spiritual act. And a lot of people take that lightly. A lot of times people wonder why they can't get over somebody. Why? Because they have spiritually stained your spirit. So you have to think about when you're about to get intimate with someone, you're not just intimate with them on a physical realm. You're also getting physical with them in a spiritual realm. Understand that. Why? Because we are more than physical beings. We are spirit beings. So when you're having sexual intercourse with somebody, you're also having sex with a spirit being also. So you got to understand how a person is, that's part of their spirit. Understand who you're dealing with. That's why it's very important for us to do things the Bible way. Look, you're more than just a sex object. I'm going to speak right now to the young lady that may be watching who may be used to trying to please some boy to try to make him feel that he, you know, she loved him. You know, I'm just going to do what I have to do to get him or to keep him. And not understanding, you're giving him a part of your soul. You're giving somebody that don't even care about you a part of you. Why? You can't say you love him because why are you going to love somebody that don't love you? Understand, sex will leave you in a stain. So you have to make sure you do things the right way, God's way. First of all, not only in loving God, but love yourself. Love yourself. Ain't nobody worth you jeopardizing your peace of mind, your soul, your spirit. Ain't nobody worth it. If they say, well, you got to prove your love to me, how about you prove the love to yourself by leaving them alone? So even for the guy that might be used to trying to prove a point, try to get some female with sex or whatever that dude, real men don't do that. Real men don't do that. You're more than just a sex object. Speaking to the young ladies and speaking to the men. Men, you're not defined by what you have in your pants. It's your character, your ethics. We as men are supposed to be the leaders, the covering. But instead of us covering the young ladies, we're exposing the young ladies to the devil's whim, to the devil's raft. Look, we have to understand sex should be not just in the bedroom, but within marriage. Do it in God's way. But also, not just getting somebody just to marry, but also choosing responsibly. Choosing responsibly. So understand, this is a time for us to allow God to do a spiritual detoxing. Now, true enough. You might have had some uh, promiscuous past. You might have did some things in the past that you regret. But this is the time for you to give it over to God. And guess what? Just like blood, blood leaves a stain. And even through uh, uh, some type of investigation, it can expose different things. So bleach itself will not clean up blood. But Jesus himself can clean any type of residue that you have had in the past that you have not given over to him. So utilize this as the opportunity for you to get yourself detox, cleanse, better than pure rocks. The Heavenly Father, we coming to you right now. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness. We coming to you right now, God, ask you, God, to forgive us, God, for anything we've done in the past, God, that was unlike you right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we ask you to help us, God. Forgive us, God. And God, ask you, God, to help us, God, to forgive ourselves right now. In the name of Jesus, God, we speaking right now, God. 
We need another chance, God, to get it right, God. And God, we thank you, Lord, for another opportunity, God. But God, we thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy that have not given up on us right now. In the name of Jesus, God, we speak it right now, God. There are those who may have been used to trying to physically prove their love to other people, God, or even have uh, given their body, given their heart, given their emotions over to somebody that did not appreciate them, God. We speak, God, that you help us right now, God, to understand who we are in you right now. In the name of Jesus, we bind everything the devil stand for, but send them back to the pits of hell. In the name of Jesus, we bind the booby trap that the devil try to put forth right now. In the name of Jesus, and Lord, we're speaking right now, God, there are somebody that may be watching, God, who may have uh, had some type of abortion right now, God. God, help them, God, to forgive themselves right now, regardless of what happened in the past, God. God, we know, God, if we give everything over to you, God, you can forgive us and cleanse us and make us whole right now. In the name of Jesus, God, we speaking, God, help us, God, to give ourselves over to you like never before. God, we know, God, that you can preserve us, God. God, we know that. God. So God, we ask you to help us, God. Help us, God, to rely upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we speaking right now, God, those who may have had uh, sexual addictions right now, God, we speaking for deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for cleansing us, God. We thank you, Lord, for sustaining us right now. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you, God, for everything you've done. Everything you're going to do. And Lord, we even thank you, Lord, for the healthy relationship, marriage that's going to come out of this right now. In the name of Jesus, God, somebody that may be in a toxic relationship relationship, God. Expose and remove them from it. Give them that desire right now, God, to get out right now. In the name of Jesus, and we thank you, Lord, for everything you've done, everything you're going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen, amen. I thank you for watching this video, and I pray that it ministers to you. Be blessed.